Hi everyone, welcome to the Women in Agriculture series presented by NL Young Farmers Forum and Agriculture in the Classroom NL. Today we will be heading out to Brookfield Road in St. John's and talking to Nancy Lester of Lester's Dairy Farm. Let's go! Hi, I'm Nancy Lester with Lester's Dairy Farm and I'm a sixth generation dairy farm farmer here on Brookfield Road. Um, we milk 250 Holstein cows here and we just switched to robotic dairy farming which we absolutely love. We started in February and it's been going excellent and as you can tell with our cows they're actually they actually really love it too. She's a little bit smaller uh, shorter so I can actually fit the robot so that she is in less space and it'll fit her better. So now we have each individual quarter here and it'll tell us how much milk she's pushing out in each one. So last milking she put out 3.8 kilograms in this quarter and you can see in each one what she gives and it was 14.2 kilograms last uh, milking. And so her days in milk, she's 47 days in milk. So she had a baby 47 days ago and she averages 3.3 milkings a day. So now we just let the robots do their thing. Well, I grew up on a farm, but ever since I was a little girl, I always wanted to be a teacher. I played school. I know that's strange, but I played school. I loved it. And I always came out to the farm. I didn't like actually have to do work so much. I didn't really know agriculture was an option for me. So I did go to university for a couple of years, but I was always drawn back here to the farm, whether it be at the farm market or here uh, with the cows. So I'm 15 years here now full time and I I still get to be a bit of a teacher here at at the farm because I get groups to come in I'll get girl guides I'll get I've had schools whoever wants to come here I'm willing to show them our farm and I guess too my dad always told me he said you you find something you love to do and you'll never work a day in your life so I'm I'm winning but I look after all of our cow care uh, we have a lot of technology here on the farm that we can um, just like you guys have Fitbits, our cows have what I like to call cow bits. These orange tags in their ears here, they'll actually tell us their temperatures. It's like a pedometer. It'll tell us if she's ruminating. It'll tell us uh, how, much, how active she is and how much she eats. So um, I look at a lot of charts I'm at the computer a lot more. And I have seven charts of information that I look at every day to check on my cows and make sure that they're the most happy and healthy animals that I can have because happy and healthy animals are the only ones that are going to make milk. So uh, we want our cows to be to be loving life and as you can see behind me if they look like they're chewing gum that means they're chewing their cud and uh, their stomachs are ruminating and life is good. So since we've switched to robotic farming we can actually access all of the cow's information on our phone. So I can go and clock in her number in my phone and it'll tell me when she was last milked. So every day, twice a day, we usually come through the herd and see if there's anybody that's over 12 hours milking and they'll come up as in the red. So we'll, usually there's an issue for uh, why she's in the red. She might be in heat, she might just be tired, maybe she's not feeling well because the weather's up and down. Uh, so we'll come get her and get her up and make her go up to uh, get milked. So uh, we're able to see all this information on our phone. So technology is uh, fantastic for that. Uh, there's a lot more information at our t fingertips that we can avail of and we can actually catch cows that are getting sick quicker and get them healthier quicker now that we have all this technology at, a, at our fingertips. Um, another role on our my farm actually is we have 25 to 30 cows have babies a month here. We have to feed those calves for two years before they can have a baby and before they make milk. So um, it's I love spending time with the calves. It's um, it's very rewarding. Uh, just like you or I, cows can get sick the same way we can. And when you know that you've helped an animal come back and be happy and healthy, 
it's just so rewarding. What I enjoy most about working with an agriculture industry, it's very rewarding. There's no other profession that's like this, but on the farm here, um, my favorite, I, I, every day we go into lunch at mom's and it's the only time that myself, mom, dad, and my brother can have a chat about what's going on because it's the only time we're ever really together. And I had a cow in the morning that wasn't feeling well. She was low on her calcium. So we were able to treat her and within an hour she was up and back to herself. And when I see the cow stood up, I just had the biggest smile on my face and I was just like, this is why I do what I do. Like this, I'm able to help these cows and with helping these cows, I'm able to produce food for people. The skills you need to work in agriculture, there's a wide range of them, which is um, you're going to learn a lot of them too, but you need to be able to work in a fast-paced, sometimes high-stressed environment. Uh, you're with animals here on our farm, so you need to be, you need to know how to walk amongst them. Um, you have to be a jack of all trades. I do everything from manual labor of sweating, pushing some poop down the drain, to uh, sitting at a computer and just my neck is hurting because I'm sat here too long. <laughs> so uh, there's lots of things that you, you need to know how to do, but it's, um, it's very rewarding. So, and and I get to, I'm still learning how to do things. I don't know how to drive the harvester yet. That might come in 10 years, maybe not. <laughs> You don't even need to be a farmer to get into the agriculture industry. There's just so many opportunities to go to work in agriculture. Um, every Thursday, our veterinarians come here and we go through our, all of our herd health here and make sure our cows are, are healthy. Uh, our milk truck comes every other day. Uh, there's a heavy equipment operator. There's um, hoof trimmers, there's nutritionists that all come here just to our farm. So it's a very large industry. So there's so many opportunities. And we go up to, we drop off blood samples to the lab up at the agricultural building. So there's, there's so much. So just, just go and take your time and look in to see what avenues there are. There's lots of different types of work that might suit you. What I would say to somebody that wants to get into the agriculture industry is go for it. Uh, there's lots of help around that can um, advise you on anything you need to know. Um, it can be very intimidating where it is supposed to be, or it was, sorry, known as a more of a male dominant occupation. Um, I've worked here, I've been on the farm my whole life. My mom's been on the farm her, her whole life. She's milked cows. She now does the bulk of the book work. Um, I'd say go for it and just use all the resources around you. There's so much help. Government is a big help. Um, come to farms. You can come get a job on a farm like this in the summers, after schools, and come and see if you like this type of career and see if it's for you. Because it's not for everyone, but you've got to take the plunge and go and see if you like to do it.